Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Talk to myself at the channel. I'm your host, Nick, and we back with another video. And today, guys, let's just jump into it. Check out this video. So the name of this group is Christians Against the Little Mermaid, and there are almost 10,000 members in this group. Later in the video, Becca goes on to highlight the group's one rule, no racism. But if you feel the need to act racist, keep it to a happy medium. And of course, the white Christians in... Come on, bro. It just goes to show that even though people are say they're Christian, they don't act Christian like. Um, it just goes to show that the teachings of what God was teaching, I mean, what Jesus was teaching and what the Bible teaches, either they're not reading it or they interpreting it in a whole nother way. Group took full advantage of their opportunity for happy medium racism. racism. They shared everything from racist memes, racist jokes, white people in blackface, the list goes on and on. In the comments of that video, you'll see people saying, I have no words. How could they call themselves Christian? How could they be so hateful? This is it just shows that to me, this is this is my personal opinion. You can't call yourself Christian and hate other people. Right? Christian call to love, you reunite. Uh, there's so many stories in the Bible of how Jesus helped the outsiders, helped the outcasts, so people can understand that everybody is a child of God, is made in his image, right? And if we all made in his image, why are we excluding people in real life? Why are we casting judgment down where God's the only one that's supposed to be judging us when we, you know, pass away and all that stuff? But it just seems the ignorance and the not understanding that how big it could be for another group and it just seemed that the white america or christians feel like they just everything's getting taken away from them because everything was handed to them for so long in the sense of roles and things of that nature even though they still get predominantly a lot of roles uh that still represent them quite nicely honestly Reminder that historically, white Christians have never had to separate their racism and bigotry from their religion. Some white Christians made efforts to do this, but they were in the slim minority. For white Christians, nearly every act of violence, bigotry, and hatred towards black people was biblically rationalized. Meaning, white Christians interpreted the Bible in such a way that not only gave space to their racism, but permitted it, sanctioned it. You can learn more about these intersections in Eric Weed's book, The Religion of White Supremacy in the United States. Remember, it was white Christians who used to attend lynchings on Saturdays and go to church on Sundays. And this is why you see a lot of... Um millennials and Americans turning away from Christianity because of things like this, because of these teachings. Not to mention just like, you know, the there's so many sexual allegations against like the Church of Christianity, stuff like that. But just in general, it's just seemed a very hypocritical stance on a lot of this stuff. But I don't know, guys. Let me know what y'all thinking right now in those comments. Man. Christians in hoods used to gather around burning crosses and sing hymns. Given the history of racial violence carried out by white Christians, sharing racist memes in a Facebook group probably is a happy medium for them. This is one of many reasons why I continue to say that in the American context, it's virtually impossible to separate white supremacy and Christian supremacy. The casting of Ariel as a black woman threatens white supremacist norms. And so white Christians feel it's their obligation to stand against it. And that is because whether they admit it or not, their religion is white supremacy. That is why they're extremely incensed about a black Ariel and utterly silent about white Jesus. Like and follow for more content. I just feel like it's not that big of a deal. Like it was a black or white area is really not that big of a deal. She did a hell of a job. She's a great actress. She's a beautiful girl. Um, I don't know, guys. Maybe we tripping. Maybe we reaching. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.